Hi, this is Manoj Yadav, and you are watching Mechanotherapy. So, guys, today we are going to discuss uh, the concept of mechatronics. As the name implies, mechatronics. So, mechatronics may be defined as the integration of mechanical engineering with the electronics. Now, uh, not only electronics is involved here, but some sort of electrical as well as computer is also involved in mechatronic concepts. So uh, mechatronics makes the mechanical systems efficient. We can say mechatronics replaces mechanics with electronics. On the contrary, we can also say mechatronics enhances mechanics with electronics. The name mechatronics was first given by Tatsuro Moria, a Japanese engineer, in 1969. So, this is uh, mechatronics. You can see in the diagram, in mechatronics we use the uh, digital control systems, control electronics, electronic mechanics, mechanical system, mechanical CAD, computers, electronic systems, all these concepts are involved in mechatronics. So these mechatronic systems make any mechanical system much more efficient. Now evolution of mechatronics. So whole evolution of mechatronics is divided into four parts primary level secondary level tertiary level and quaternary level primary level involves the conversion of mechanical uh, actions into electrical signals for example fluid valves then secondary level in secondary level some electronic was involved in the electrical signals uh, for the control and uh, this is called secondary level for example cassette tape player in tertiary level advanced control strategy using microelectronics and integrated circuits were involved with the electronic systems for example microprocessor based electrical motor for actuation in robots then we have the quaternary level quaternary level improves the smartness in products using artificial intelligence fuzzy logic neural network and so many latest technologies so quaternary level uh, is the level which is uh, being used by scientists nowadays this is the evolution of mechatronics. Now advantages of mechatronics. We can simply see that uh, by using any mechatronic system the quality of the products becomes good. So it produces high quality products. Dimensional accuracy is achieved. If we want to make a shaft of 20 mm diameter we can just make it by 20 mm diameter with help of automatic machines. Flexibility to redesign the system. Suppose we want to redesign the system, we want to modify the system, then we need not to change much. Increased productivity. Since less number of labor is used, everything is uh, automated. So the production obviously increases. Now it also results in automation. Greater extent of machine utilization. If a number of machines are there in the shop, then the idle time for any machine is reduced and thus the productivity is increased. Higher product life. The products thus produced have higher life. So these are some of the advantages of mechatronic systems. Now we will discuss the disadvantages of mechatronic systems. The first disadvantage is high initial cost. 
since a number of skilled labor is required to design the systems so the initial cost becomes high high maintenance cost now each and every labor cannot repair the uh, mechatronic systems highly skilled labor is required so high maintenance cost is there multidisciplinary background is required to design the system if you want to design any system then you must have the knowledge of computer as well as electrical as well as mechanical or electronics it needs trained workers to operate if you don't have done the training of the uh, the system then you can't uh, operate it and compact complexity in identification and, rect and rectification of problem suppose a system gets uh, involved some uh, problem then it is much difficult to identify in which system is the problem whether the problem is in mechanical system or electrical system or electronic system so it becomes very difficult to find out that which system is having the problem and thus the rectification of problem uh, also becomes difficult now we will discuss the fields of mechatronics mechatronics have basically three fields autotronics bionics and avionics first of all we will discuss about autotronics now when the concepts of uh, mechatronics are involved in the automobile field or in the fields of vehicles then it is called autotronics you know the basic purpose of uh, automobiles is to make them safer make them more fuel efficient and less polluting all these systems are governed efficiently with help of mechatronic concepts you can see in uh, latest uh, technologies which are being used in automobiles we are having airbag systems suspension systems wiper mechanism wiper automatically starts and stops automatic dim and bright control temperature control ac can be controlled automatically tire pressure control fuel pressure control these all controls are using mechatronics for their automatic working so this is autotronics then we have bionics when the concepts of mechatronics are involved in the study of biology to give efficient results it becomes bionics now various biomedical sensors are used for diagnostic analysis if you want to diagnose any uh, you know uh, health related issue then uh, sensors are used and with the help of sensors you can find out uh, the problem in just little time ultrasound dna testing mri ct scan glucose detection all these tests are using the mechatronic concepts for better and time bound results in production of artificial human parts mechatronics plays an important role so in this way we can say that in medical field or in the field of biology mechatronics is also playing an important role at last we have avionics so when the concepts of mechatronics are involved in the aviation industry or in the field of aerospace then it is called avionics in aerospace industry mechatronics give better control with increasing robustness as well as safety for example we can see cockpit instrumentation autopilot mode the pilot uh, makes auto uh, control and uh, then rests and the aeroplane continues flying air traffic control and missile control system all these are using the mechatronic systems efficiently so uh, guys this is all about mechatronics in our next lecture we dis we will discuss some sensors and transducers Thank you thank you everyone